New at five, a big change for driverless cars. Waymo announced they will soon be testing their fleet on freeways, moving beyond just surface streets, which they've been doing since 2022. Our Ford Hatchet caught a ride today to see what safety impacts could be. Waymo announcing plans to take their autonomous cars onto the freeways, something researchers call a natural progression. It is easier. Yeah, it's considered to be easier. Researchers at Arizona State have worked on designing safety algorithms for driverless cars for years. It is an algorithm for the car so that it can drive fastest but not be blamed for any accident. The rules of the road will remain the same on freeways, but the speed certainly won't. That the risks are higher. Right? If there is an accident, then it's going to be more uh, damaging than a street accident. No matter how safe the design, there's always some risk in getting in a car, whether there's a driver or not. And the perception on Waymo is still very much split. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ride in one. Oh, I love them. They're great. Yeah, they're like clean, convenient. They cost less than Uber. Like, um, they feel safer too. Waymo says freeway driving could reduce ride times by up to 50%, a welcome change for consistent riders. They definitely take a scenic route sometimes, though. That's one drawback is that it can take you a lot longer to get to where you're going. But with the faster speed on the highways, it remains to be seen if Waymos can keep up going just the speed limit. Autonomous car companies want their cars to drive like humans. And there is a risk in that, right? Because if you want to drive like human, then you may drive faster than what you should. Um, you know, they're so cautious, and that's not necessarily how a lot of Arizona drivers are on the highway. <laughs> Others remain unconvinced. Well, because they've had some problems with them, and yeah. At my age, life is a little too precious. <laughs> the freeway trips will begin with Waymo employees as riders and eventually expand to the public. In Phoenix, Fort Hatchet, ABC 15, Arizona. We want to know, will you use a driverless car? You can vote in our interactive poll right now by going to abc15.com poll or by scanning that QR code right there on your screen.